Oh man, that far exceeded my expectation. What's up, science team? Today we're gonna be playing with fire. Responsibly, sort of. So I partnered up with Skybound to explore some experiments, diving into the science aspects of the mobile RPG Summoner's War. Today we're gonna be exploring dragons and different colored fire. Dragons are a huge part of Summoner's War. You can summon them and they are gigantic dungeon bosses. My favorite is Zyros, an awakened fire dragon, but there are all different types. There's fire, water, and wind. So because there's different types of dragons, we're gonna make different colors of fire. And at some point, we're going to attempt to shoot that fire just like a dragon. But before we get to any of that, we have to at least make the different colored fire first. So that's where we're gonna start. Okay, safety is number one priority. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dissolve some of this boric acid in this right here. This is methanol, 99%. Uh, this is a flammable alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some methanol, about 200 milliliters in here. We're gonna dissolve some boric acid. And then we're gonna light it up in this pan and we're gonna see what color boric acid produces. Oh, well there we go. Wouldn't breathe that in. That is how you make green fire. As you guys can see, it is very green. Yep, it's coming right up. Get you some green burgers here in a little bit. What's that, Susan? Vegan? <laughs> Whatever. All right, so we had our fun. Uh, boric acid makes green. If you were to heat up boric acid, the energy that is absorbed into the electrons of boron goes to a higher energy state. When it comes back down from that higher energy state, it gives off a photon. And that photon is visibly seen as a wavelength of light that is unique to that element, and we see it as green. Uh, and so every element actually has a different color, and it just so happens that boron is green. Next up, we're gonna be working with lithium. Now you've probably heard of lithium before, and that's because lithium is in batteries. In fact, that's actually where I got the lithium that we're about to use for this portion of the experiment. I actually went in and ripped open a battery and I pulled out the lithium. Now I would not recommend to do this at home. The gases that are emitted by ripping open a battery are very toxic as well as when the battery shorts out in the process, it can get extremely hot and explode. So, you know, leave the lithium in the battery. You'll see when I dump this in here, it's gonna react right away. We're getting this really cool reaction. It kind of looks like it's dissolving a bit. It's bubbling. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and light her up. Ooh. As you can see there, we're getting this kind of like this mixture. We're getting this like blue and sort of this orange and then you can see there's a little bit of red in there. Uh, the red is kind of coming out more as it's actually burning the pieces of there that are the lithium. In fact, I think we can actually make it a little more pink. So I'm gonna take this amount right here. It's all in there. Oh man, that scared me. That's, that's really pink. That is very pink. So as you can see, the more lithium that we dissolve in the methanol, the more pink our fire will be. And so the next step is figuring out how to throw the fire. So we built a wall for us to shoot this colored fire at because I didn't want to be shooting fire across the entire driveway and then not going somewhere that was gonna be safer to land on. So now we have the wall of science. Here we go. All right, in order to breathe fire like a dragon, I have built this device. Now here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna fill this tube with some of our accelerant. So in our case, I gotta be honest with you guys, I thought the green fire was the coolest. So I'm gonna put some methanol and boric acid together. I'm gonna put that in this tube and I'm going to breathe out really hard and I'm gonna push that methanol and boric acid mixed together across this over top of this lit flame. And then we will have fire just like how a dragon breathes fire all the way till it hits this wall. <laughs> what? It went right over the wall. A 
I was not very pleased with our last flamethrower device. I mean, it barely hit the wall. So I went on YouTube and I was looking at Grant Thompson's mini flamethrower and I saw that he actually shot a flame across the entire room. So I figured, you know what? We're gonna build one for ourselves. And so we're gonna give this a try and we're gonna fill this up with the boric acid and methanol solution mix. Uh, fire in the hole. That thing is a total beast. That was very impressive. That is exactly how I imagine a dragon breathes fire. We're gonna go ahead and fill that one more time, but I think we might switch up the colors here. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow, there's still some green in there. It's all mixed together now. Okay, that, that far exceeded my expectation. It's still burning. It's phenomenal. I'm actually so impressed. We first learned about different color fire. We tried it with a smaller build to breathe fire. We used Grant Thompson's mini flamethrower and the result was an astounding flamethrower. Just how a uh, dragon would breathe fire. Thank you so much for watching. Each episode, we're going to be exploring a new science aspect of Summoner's War. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know in the comment section below, which color fire was your favorite? Also, did you think that we were really going to shoot fire across the driveway that far? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.